when thinking of holiday movies on TV. GAC Family has been one of the go-to channels, so we recently made a video of the new GAC Family movies for you. But we know that wasn't enough, so here's another GAC Family movies list that you can watch with your family. Number 7. Christmas Is You Emma Bloom, played by Becca Tobin, is given an ultimatum by her boss to go home for the holidays and convince her former high school boyfriend and national recording star Tyler Thorne, played by Matthew McCall, to sign with their company. When Emma and Tyler arrive in their hometown, they are immediately immersed in the all-hands-on-deck effort to save the annual Christmas Carol celebration, where they first sang together as kids in the choir. Turns out, a trip down memory lane may hit all the right notes for love. Love, though there are a few bumps in the road in the guise of his fired manager, bad cell phone reception, and the inability of Emma to admit her feelings for Tyler. Set in the gorgeous mountain region of Vermont, this storyline is rich with nostalgia and the beauty of music. It takes one back to Emma and Tyler's days of carol singing and exudes the warmth of the holidays. So if you're keen to find out what happened in Christmas Is You, watch this movie right away. An original Christmas song, would you be interested in maybe collaborating with me? I don't know about collaboration, but uh, I can help you break through, maybe? Number 6. Jingle Bell Princess Through a misunderstanding, Princess Amelia, played by Merritt Patterson, is left behind when her private jet lifts off to carry her home. Stuck in a snowstorm at the small airport in Tucker, Maine, she's offered to come home with Annie Coulter, played by Marnie McPhail over the night. Home with Annie, she meets Annie's son Sam, played by Trevor Donovan, and his daughter Sophie, Charlie Boyle. They live there while Sam restores their house, a work that has slowed down since Sam lost his wife. Amelia is forced to stay on with the Cuddlers as the storm continues, but she's hiding that she's a princess as she wants to avoid attention. The classic tale of two classes emerges as Sam is a commoner while Amelia is a proper royal. Still, it's Christmas, and Amelia's unlikely to meet a mysterious man during the rush of the holidays, and just may be a hidden treasure for this momentarily abandoned princess. I am not overprotective. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It just shows how much you love her. Number 5. A Lot Like Christmas In this film, Jessica Roberts, played by Maggie Lawson, has a small Christmas tree farm forced to compete for business when a big corporation moves into her town. Jessica gets some unexpected advice from one of their customers, Clay Moore, played by Christopher Russell, a marketing executive. As Jessica and Clay spend more time together, they fall for each other. The possibility of them having a happily ever after would not even have gotten off the ground if Clay had been upfront that he works for the big corporation. He's even the one who has come up with the marketing ideas against her. Well, in this film, we see rivals find common ground in business and more. Just checking out some local spots. Well, you have come to the right place because this farm is the place in Hudson Springs during the holidays. I can see that. Number 4. A Christmas Miracle for Daisy Whitney, played by Jill Wagner, owns Marietta Designs, an interior design firm she runs with her friend. She's designing Santa's float for the town's annual Christmas parade when a potential job opportunity comes her way. The total redesign of a landmark home by Christmas Eve. Despite the challenge, they sign on to the job only to discover the home's new owner is Whitney's ex-boyfriend Connor, played by Nick Bateman who has moved to town from Los Angeles with his young daughter, Daisy. Connor had no intention of becoming a family man, but when his Scott daughter is orphaned, he adopts her and commits to becoming a devoted single dad. More than anything, Daisy wishes for a mom to complete her picture-perfect family, and no prospect is as perfect as Whitney. A tall order, but Christmas is a time for miracles. I want to be young and in love. Uh, young and in love is alright, I suppose. But I'm nearly as sweet as old and in love. How are you calling old? I am not calling anyone old. Now that we're halfway through, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we bring out new videos each week. Number 3. A Christmas Star 
Do you love to stargaze? Well, some people enjoy it so much that they seek out careers that will lead them to the stars. Whether that means being an astronomer, astronaut, astrophysicist, or even an astrologist, the stars can teach us a lot and help us find our way in more ways than one. In GAC Family's holiday film, A Christmas Star, an astronomer looks to the skies in hopes of discovering the next big celestial event, but she might find love amongst the stars instead. Astronomer Madeline Baggett, played by Sarah Canning, searches for life beyond Earth. When Madeline believes she has found it, she convinces her boss to allow her to travel to a small hamlet in upstate New York where she hopes to capture a once-in-a-lifetime event. With refractors and telescopes in tow, Madeline arrives in Summit Ridge, where she meets widowed National Park Ranger Ryan Sparks, played by Daniel Lissing, and his young daughter. With Ryan's help, Madeline begins to chart the celestial event, which brings the pair closer to finding love under the stars. You mean a collimation? No, this is a refractor. I'm sure yours is a reflector. Okay, yeah, I get it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. <laughs> Sorry. I deal with so much technical stuff. Number 2. When Hope Calls Christmas when Hope Calls is a spin-off series of When Calls the Heart, the popular period series on Hallmark Channel. The town of Brookfield amps up its holiday charm as advised to be named Harper's Bazaar Magazine's number one country Christmas town. Things are not so festive behind the scenes as they try to put the facade of a joyous Christmas community for the magazine's photojournalist. In the midst of it all, a familiar face comes to town. Abigail, played by Lori Laughlin, and her son come to Brookfield to bring a troubled boy to Lillian's orphanage. Later, as the photojournalist is finishing up his time in Brookfield, Lillian and the orphans, along with Gabriel, played by Ryan James Hatanaka, are running out of options to restore the troubled boy's hope for better times. Just when all seems lost, a secret Santa appears to make the holidays a lot happier. Oh, Cody. Nothing has made me happier than being your mom. You mean it? With all my heart. <laughs> when hope Number 1. Joy for Christmas GAC Family's Joy for Christmas is a popular Christmas holiday movie. The plot, scenery, and fantastic performance of this movie make it one of the best Christmas holiday movies of the year. The movie follows Holly, played by Cindy Busby, a beautiful and charming girl. She tries to persuade prominent pro athlete Jack Kane, played by Sam Page, to be the face of her father's annual holiday toy drive to prevent the event from being cancelled. Jack accepts and begins working on the promotional campaigns Holly has prepared. As they spend time to help others accomplish their desires, the two start to fall for each other as Jack can see Christmas through Holly's eyes. The chemistry between Holly and Jack will keep you captivated, along with their cute little fights and challenges during the Christmas venture. So don't miss the joy of Christmas. This is a beautiful holiday show that you can watch along with your loved ones. What? Yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you. I, I just needed something bigger. So you're coming back to the family business? No. Yes? No. Yes. No, I can't. What movie did you like best? Tell us in the comments. For our biggest fans, consider becoming a member for bonus perks and access. Don't forget to check out our merch store for the perfect bench watching apparel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We put out new videos like this one every week. We'll see you for our next video. Thanks for watching.